COVID-19 superspreaders are responsible for 80% of infections. Why do we fail to identify them? On the other hand, there is a large population of immunized, such as those who are entirely asymptomatic, although they have come in direct contact with a verified patient. Early detection of the population of superspreaders and vaccinated, Teflon, will have far-reaching medical and economic significance, but quite surprisingly, no significant statistical correlation has been found. About 30 million patients worldwide have contracted the coronavirus. The explanatory variables seemed pretty clear at first, age, heredity, sex, nutrition, lifestyle all have an effect, but why is there no statistically significant result? Mortality and morbidity are not uniform. The disease affects adults much more severely than young people. Young children, most of whom are vaccinated. A common phenomenon is that some family members became seriously ill while others who were exposed for prolonged periods remained asymptomatic. The genetic link seems not entirely clear. There is probably a link between coronavirus infection and diet. Some argue that poor people with an unhealthy nutrition have been harmed more than others. Lifestyle, medications, smoking, drinking alcoholic beverages. Background diseases have a significant effect on morbidity and mortality. The power of computing today is very high, and it is not an explanation for the inability to statistically characterize the superspreaders and Teflon. If the explanatory variables are known and there are a large sample and sufficient computing power, why is it impossible to reach a significant statistical result that will characterize the superspreaders and Teflon? The inevitable conclusion. The lack of a very significant explanatory variable. To live is to have chi in every part of your body. To die is to be a body without chi. For health to be maintained, there must be a balance of chi. The idea of the body as a dual, physical, and energetic entity comes from the philosophy of the Far East. This view is not popular with the Western medical establishment, but without the additional variable, no solution will be found to the question. For exactly the same reasons, cracking the genetic code does not allow for the cure of chronic diseases. Surprisingly, modern medicine has no directive philosophy. Thank you for watching this video.